What's up guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Before I start this video, I'm gonna give away three Royal Mystery Boxes. If you want a chance of winning one of these Royal Mystery Boxes, make sure to like this video, comment your in-game name, subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't joined Dreamscape, make sure to click the link in the description. And upon login, make sure to click on YouTube. It will be right here once you start, and then type on other, and then I mean, click on other and type ACAM RSPS. It's that simple, and you're entered. So, another great money making method is actually voting. On most servers, voting is not worth it at all. But on Dreamscape, it really is. So, just type in uh, quote unquote vote, and then it'll bring you to the voting side. You just vote on the four sides. I think one is broken, which is Moparscape. So, you get like three uh, vote boxes, but I'm not really sure. It's, it's been broken for me for a while. You're gonna have to figure it out yourself. Uh, you get normally you get four box uh, vote boxes. Uh, in this instance, I got three. So the vote boxes are, I think it's around three mil each. It's two point four mil each, and the vote tickets are, I think, around two hundred k. Yeah, around two hundred k. So that's already six hundred k plus two point five, seven point five mil. So let's say around eight mil. With 8 mil, you can get yourself a Oblivion Scythe, 2 mil, full Blizzard, because it's like, yeah, it's pretty cheap, and maybe even Aqua Spirit Shield, I'm not really sure, uh, nah, you won't be quite able to afford it, maybe if you save it up for like 2-3 days, you should be easily able to get an Aqua Spirit Shield, full Blizzard, uh, an Oblivion Scythe, so you're pretty much set already uh, for PVMing. You know the basic stuff, just by voting and collecting those votes for a couple days. It's that simple. Alright, so uh, I'm up now. I'm against Counter. So uh, I got the first. Uh, first, uh, first prize is Destiny and Elephant, which is like $300. So yeah, I hope I win. So we got no pair. Okay, replant. Who? All right, we can't lose this, and we can't lose this. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We got a white. We got a purple. A yellow. Rainbow. This is not good. I think we busted, do we bust? <laughs> but the giveaway is over, so we want nothing. That is where the piñatas come in. So I bought this piano stick which is like 30-40 mil. It makes you hit like way higher. Uh, you do need to undress, so I'm gonna remove everything right here. Except the pinata stick, I'm gonna kill these pinatas. First, call my pets. Second piana is almost dead as well. Okay, we only got one box sadly. We've got a couple more to go. So uh, I still got some hope. Alright, so from all the pinatas I got eleven event boxes. If you go to the POS, type in event boxes. They are 3 mil each, so I just made 33 mil, J just like that. Th it's that simple, and I didn't even win the, I didn't even win the event. Of course, I'm gonna open it for the content, you know. We're gonna get some boxes. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, if you open the event boxes, you will get other boxes from it. If you guys didn't know that. The other money making method is killing a lot of NPCs for the Mimic Entry uh, entry Ticket and the Xevo's Invitation. So these are two items, I'll put them on the screen right now. You can get these by killing any NPC. But the chance of getting them uh, the most is by killing a lot at the same time. So what you want to do is you get an AIO weapon which kills a lot of NPCs at the same time instead of like for example these are like one by one if you go one up you can 
kill multiple at a time as you can see right here so that's pretty pretty overpowered these are with like any AIO weapon and I think the cheapest one is the AK Asimov for the range one and for the major one is the Keone stuff so what you want to do is you want to go into the penguin headquarters don't go too deep because you know these are pretty easy to kill even with uh, normal gear even though I'm in pretty good gear you can kill these easily in normal gear what you want to watch out for is this I think it's the alpha yeah the alpha penguin king this guy has a lot of HP so what you want to do is not go near him because he will basically two hit you I think because he can hit like yeah 90 it could literally even one hit you so you want to get away from this guy and just maybe stand around here so I personally do I stand around here so you can kill uh, both sides without uh, moving just being in one spot yeah I died so you guys can see uh, this is the Xebos invitation it's 4 mil so that's not too bad and the mimic entry ticket is 5 mil you, you can get these I think it's around like every 5 minutes maybe 7 minutes you should be able to get at least one of these if you kill like a lot of at the same time for, for example the penguin place so that's also a uh, pretty decent money making method Alright guys, the next money making method is the arcade and the dreamland. So I'm gonna show you guys the dreamland right now. So what you wanna do is, wait, let me get out first. So I can show you guys uh, both modes. Please leave, alright, let's leave real quick. Alright, so here's the dreamland manager. Click on me will ask you to switch game mode. So it's either on easy or normal. Normal will give you two times the tokens. So if you're in like some decent gear, I would suggest to do the normal ones because you get like two times the tokens. Why not? And it's pretty simple. You just click on a portal. Uh, in easy mode, you can you're able to uh, bank here, but of course in normal mode you can't. So when you click on the portal, you just wait. There are uh, 100 waves, I believe. The first, yeah, the first few are, uh, waves are super super easy. Yeah, like I'm literally instantly killing these. Most people get around 50 waves because from 50 waves on, it's it gets pretty pretty difficult. So the most effective method to get uh, the most uh, tokens you can get is by going to 50 waves and uh, letting them kill you, or you just leave. So you then get dream tokens if you die or you leave. You can spend it in the shop right here. If you uh, get 50 waves, you get around three and a half to four and a half. Uh, tokens really depends when you stop and the best things to get is the ultimate mage gloves and the ultimate mage boots because they work the most so the next money making method is the arcade uh, there's a normal arcade which you don't need any requirements for you can just go in and it's 50 waves once you've completed it you get a infernal uh, infernal cape which I can show you guys right here infernal cape So once you have uh, saved up enough uh, arcade tokens, you can spend them at the shop. First you need to go, uh, uh, I think it's the Avengers Arcade, and then you exit it, and it will teleport you to the old home, and it, the arcade shop is right here. Um, basically half of these are just junk, like it's like value wise they're not worth that much, the only really thing that is worth a good amount is the box of wisdom or the rare scratch cards but personally I would just uh, save up for the box of wisdom which is 25k and get those because th they're, they're just worth the most money uh, out of the shop alrighty boys so we're doing a gamble right now so you might think a cam gambling I know it's a love hate relationship I know how it is but if you got some spare money left like I got my spare ultimate mage gloves laying down my bank you can just gamble it you never know it's 50 50 always so you might end up with a win you might end up with a loss so right now it's a one pair for him and all right so we're gonna do another gamble because i had this spare in my banks so i just why not just gamble just chuck it in whatever so this next money making guide is actually a revs. So I heard revs was pretty good money. So how you want to do this is you want to go to a market first. 
I believe you've. Uh, it's recommended to uh, get a bracelet of Ethereum. Bracelet of Ethereum right here. It's 10k. I think it's already charged. I don't think you need to put any effort on it. So just, just to make sure effort. Oh, I do. Alright, let's buy maybe 10. Use it on it. Like a resource charge. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just equip it. I think that's all you need. You go to bosses, then you go to revenants right here. So basically, how? Oh, remove my dream potion. All right, let's go revs this time. Can I? Yes, please. Oh, of course. So you can't bring a pet either. Can I please go to revs now? Yes, I can. Actually, it says it's wieldy, but it's not actually wieldy because you can't kill people uh, in here. You actually used to kill people in here, but you can't anymore. So what you want to do is you want to get a uh, pretty decent weapon. For, for example, this guy is using the Frostbite Staff. It also works with the Oblivion Scythe. It doesn't really matter what weapon you use, but it's recommended to use a pretty dec like decently strong weapon like this guy, Oblivion Scythe. It doesn't cost more than maybe 3-4 mil. It's pretty cheap. So what you want to do is you want to kill these guys so you get a chance of killing of getting PK points. As you can see right there, it's not guaranteed all the time. So it's a chance. And uh, there's also a chance of dropping the emblems. As you can see right here. Uh, right here, it drops all these emblems. And of course, the the bigger, the, the higher the tier of the emblem, the more points you get. And you can spend these points at shops. So what you want to do is you want to type quote unquote shops just like this and once you got all the emblems and uh, you saved up all the points you want to go to the wilderness shop if you got the emblems you just click on emblems you will trade them in you want to open the shop and all kinds of stuff you can get and personally what I would choose and what most people choose is the Keone stuff and maybe the box of wisdom which is worth less and I mean if you don't really need money you could also save up for these pets they're decent, but to be honest, I would just go for the Keone stuff if, if you're planning to make money, of course. So that was the Revenant Guide. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment, try it, and maybe leave some feedback. I don't know, but see you guys in the next one. Peace out.